Which A-lister did McConaughey dump at a bar after seeing his wife Camilla? Why did many consider his marriage to Camilla one-sided? And why have they opted to let the kids know that their dad is a celeb? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's start. Before he met Camilla, Matthew McConaughey is one of Hollywood's most notorious studs. With his good looks and laid-back attitude, it's easy to see why he had fans across the globe swooning. But it wasn't just his fans who were infatuated with the star. His southern charm seemed to have gotten the attention of quite a few household names. Do the names Janet Jackson, Sandra Bullock, and Penelope Cruz sound familiar to you? Well, McConaughey previously dated all three women for brief amounts of time. And while they all turned out to be rather short-lived relationships, it seems to have influenced the actor's thinking towards relationships as he slowly began approaching the big 4-0. The clock was ticking. I was about to be 40, and my plan was to be married and have kids by that age," he told People magazine. And while many popular outlets assumed that McConaughey would continue to enjoy his single life and status as one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors, it seems that the actor was looking for a little bit more than a mere fling. I didn't want to play the game of starting to feel anxious because too much anxiety, you can't find a mate. And then you make a hasty decision," he continued to say. But it seems that a few months later, things would turn around for the better. Love at First Sight If we are being completely honest, Matthew McConaughey may be known for playing more serious roles, but the actor is definitely adored for his popular rom-coms. I mean, where would we be without How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? So, it is only fitting that the actor's love story with Camilla Alves would read similarly to a perfect rom-com script. Picture this. Matthew McConaughey sitting with friends at a bar, casually making margaritas. Enter Camilla Alves. A brief look happens between the two, and sparks begin to fly. Well, for McConaughey anyway. See, while the actor was already smitten from the moment he saw the aspiring model, Camilla wasn't as starstruck. The first interaction, I did not know who he was, she told Access Hollywood. At the time, he had a really long beard, and he had this Rasta hat. He was all covered up. I didn't really realize who he was. So, while many women would have immediately given in to his charm, Camilla at the time wasn't as captivated by the Southern actor, and it looked like he had his work cut out for him. Recalling the night that he met Camilla, he said, That's when she showed up, and she moved right to left in front of my eyes across that club. It was as if she was floating, and I did not say, Who is that? I said, What is that? And then introduced myself. In an effort to keep things interesting, Camilla didn't immediately opt for English. Instead, she began speaking in her home language, Portuguese, in an attempt to keep the actor on his toes. And just when you'd think that the supposed language barrier would lead the actor to give up, he stood his ground and began speaking Portuguese back. In an interview with People TV, he jokingly admitted that he understood Portuguese better than I've ever understood her in our nine years of dating. The two eventually went on their first date three nights later, with McConaughey admitting, I knew then I've been wanting to go on a date with her for the last nine years and not with anybody else. But did you know that when the actor met Camilla at the bar, he was still dating Spanish actress Penelope Cruz? That's right. McConaughey later shared how he had originally been driving to Mexico with Penelope Cruz, but eventually decided to break up with the starlet after he had noticed his future wife, Camilla, in a bar that very evening. But if you were looking for any bad blood between Cruz and McConaughey, think again. The two are still amicable and speak highly of one another. Matthew puts a ring on it. When people refer to Christmas as the most wonderful time of the year, they definitely aren't kidding. Just ask Matthew and Camilla. The two got engaged on Christmas Day. Speaking about the Christmas engagement on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, the Magic Mike actor revealed, at Christmas time, we go around our family, and everyone takes turns opening presents. So, I had wrapped the engagement ring in about eight different boxes deep. But many would be surprised that Camilla's first word wasn't exactly, yes, when she initially unboxed the ring. The first word out of her mouth was not, yes, McConaughey revealed. I'm not going to say what it was, but I did say, look, I'm down on a knee. I'll stay here a while. I will outlast you. And I did. She conceded. This obviously led many fans to speculate that their love was incredibly one-sided, with Camilla not being fully committed. But the couple would go on to prove everyone wrong. Cue the wedding bells. Now, if Matthew McConaughey is finally going to make it down the aisle, you can almost guarantee that the wedding is going to be anything but conventional. 
The actor is known for being one of the coolest men in Hollywood, and it appears his new bride, Camilla Alves, is no different. Unlike most celebrities that revel in the glitz and glam of a show-studded wedding, these two went a little more understated. Their wedding was actually hosted inside a private home. Chatting to Glamour magazine, the actor spilt the beans on his lavish Texan nuptials, sharing that they had 40 tents put up in their backyard. But the actor makes sure not to take any credit for the homey look, as it was all Camilla. Camilla shared how she came up with the idea, saying, I want to build a village. I want all of our friends and family to come here, stay for three full days, have an experience with us, so they can really remember this weekend. It is also said that security was on hand at the three-story, seven-bedroom mansion called Old Oak Estate, where the wedding was hosted. Just a couple dozen close friends and family were invited to the cozy celebration, with reports concluding that those working at the event were asked to sign non-disclosure contracts. So, who made the guest list? Oh, just a few of Hollywood's biggest names, with the likes of Reese Witherspoon and Woody Harrelson being in attendance. And while many couldn't contain their excitement that the two were finally tying the knot, Camilla admits that she was surprised that the two finally made it down the aisle. During an interview with People in 2012, Alvis confessed that it was something they had to work towards. I think it's something that we evolved to, she told the magazine. I was never the girl that grew up saying, I want to get married. I actually told my parents not to expect me to get married. Camilla continued revealing how her wedding day changed everything, saying, I didn't know how important the wedding was and how really, truly special it was until I went through the ceremony. And so the love story continued. A family affair. Well, it seems that McConaughey's wish to eventually settle down, get married, and have a family came true, with the final piece of the puzzle coming together when the couple had their three children, Levi, Vita, and Livingston. And while we may not see much of the little ones on social media, when we do get glimpses of them, it becomes incredibly obvious that they got their parents' good genes. Alves sometimes even posts sweet family updates on Instagram. An integral part of their family life is rooted in their values, with the parents of three committing to creating a loving family home and dedicating their lives to raising strong, kind kids. The parents are also adamant about not sheltering their kids from either the outside world or their dad's celebrity status. Gracing the cover of People magazine's October 2020 issue, the star shared that it's important that their children know who their father is. We don't want to insulate them overly from the world or from the success that I've had as Matthew McConaughey, actor, celebrity. We let them know that Papa's celebrity does not define Papa. And while the kids may know that their dad is incredibly famous, it looks like they're being raised to find their value in other things. Following in their mother's humanitarian footsteps, the children find value in who they are and how they treat others. We say, our real merit comes from how we're trying to be as people, how we are as parents, how we love you, how we love each other, he continued. So what's the couple's secret to marital success? Prioritizing their relationship. That's right. The reason that their love looks so picture perfect is that the two continue to make it a priority, regardless of their busy schedules. We do a lot of staying at home, cooking together, or getting a hotel room that is 10 minutes away from the house, Camilla told Us Weekly in an interview with the magazine. And of course, they're never afraid to boast about their love on Instagram. And we couldn't be more grateful to see cute shots of the two lovebirds. What are your thoughts on the couple's whirlwind love story? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to stay awesome.